Yes. Who are you? I'm the owner, Mario. Mario, yeah. Mario, yeah. yeah, yeah that's so, Warren. <laughs> my name is Warren. Kicks and drip. We go way back. Way back. Way back. Way back. So, yeah. you're doing big things now, right? Man, trying to, trying that's to, it? trying to start off, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to start off positive. Nice, man. Yeah. I love this. We got a, we actually got a few pairs. So, this one came in yesterday. So catch them out, or? Yeah, catch them out. What's the For these. Yeah. We're doing five on these right now? You're doing five? Five, yeah. We're buying them at, at four, some of them at five. Oh, you're selling at five? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were cashing no, out No, no, we're cashing out at four right now. We're cashing out at four. Yeah. I've seen this uh, tag at like uh, Riff. They use the same thing? I think, what uh, what program is this? This is Lightspeed. Lightspeed? Yeah. Is that pretty good? Like, keep track of everything? Or? Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's a little bit tricky on the consignment and the trading part. It goes off my numbers for it. Oh, it does. Yeah. yeah. This is more fun than uh, than your old business. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, time goes back here quick. Yeah, yeah it's fun. It's so fun. Yeah. I knew I knew Mario when he was running his other business. I won't say what it is, but yeah, man, that yeah. was that was a tough business for both of us. That was a tough business. Yeah, sneakers are way more fun. Sneakers are way more fun. Way more fun. And, yeah, uh, it's um, it's interesting, you know. <laughs> it opens so, up more doors, I think, too. So let me ask you this question, Mario. There's a lot of competition out there. Right. Dark eggs. Right. Go. True. eBay, you got, you got Fight Club, right? You got uh, what else is on the Brand LA? You got you got all these big players. You got um uh, Cookies and Kicks, Cookies on the and Rose. Kicks, Cool Kicks, all the big Round stores two. on on the rows. Yeah. What made you decide to pick the San Fernando Valley? Why did you jump in a, a store when there was all this competition? Because I think there's a little bit for everyone to get. You know, I think the market. The market out here in the San Fernando Valley, you know, everyone was, was driving from here out to Melrose, out to that side of town. And um, I feel like if we put one here, we put a hub here for everyone to come to, I think we could attract those people. And yeah, we're starting to see that, you know, we're trying to, we're trying to see the people from the valley, they're coming into the shop and they're talking about how they used to drive to Melrose to get lower prices on their items, you know, yeah. and they're still getting driving out here to me and they're getting a little bit more and not going all the way to Melrose, you know? Right. So no, no, definitely. it sounds like it's working out for everybody. And um, that was one of the reasons why we did it. And then also we just did it because it's, it's, it looks like it looks like it looked like a good business, you know, to, to do at the moment, you know, like something to jump on. You know, me and you talked about it in the past, yep, you know, yep, yep. we talked about maybe doing something together before. Yep. Remember? Yep, yep, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. 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 He, and then, he actually took the, the plunge first, but uh, <laughs> Maybe yeah. one day we can do some kind of collaboration. <laughs> Maybe one day, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, and, uh, um, yeah, for sure. That that's that's that was it pretty much. Only we said we were we you know we have been stacking up for a while inventory. I've been buying stuff, holding on to it. You know, I was um I don't know what kind of I don't know. I was like collecting and stacking at the same time, but I was holding for the value. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah at this point, I can't be. I, I'm not holding anymore because yeah. I can't hold. Yeah, you gotta turn. I gotta turn it. I gotta turn it quick. Yeah. yeah. So there's, there's. I think there's two type, two different type of resellers, right? Yeah. I feel like there's one as an investor who holds for the long term, and then, the, and then the other one, yeah, that's you. And then, well, that's what I used to be too. Yeah. And then there's the other one who just, you know, buys it and flips it on the, on the spot quick. Yeah. 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 So that's the type of business. Right now, I can't really hold, you know, because I need the capital to keep working. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But no. eventually, you know, I'll, I'll probably be able to hold some stuff. Why? Right? Yeah. I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't mind holding on to these for a while, you know. Yep. But right now, because I believe this is gonna go up. This is gonna go up for yeah. sure. I got three pairs retail, so I got lucky. You got three pairs retail? Yeah. Well, you had everyone in the family working for them? Pretty much everyone <laughs> going for the raffles, so. For the raffles? No. Uh, Sneakers app, or where did you hit? Uh, I hit on the Foot Locker Reservation. Oh, so nice. So, one GS size, but um, my Can fiance ended up wearing them, so. Yeah. She yeah. saw them, and she was like, it's my size, I'm wearing them, so. Yeah, yeah. So, actually, I have two pairs that, that are on ice. Um, but nice. yeah, these are definitely tough. Yeah, right now I just I've been watching them. They haven't dropped. I think when sneakers comes in, all yeah. the online orders, yeah. you know what happens. Yeah. Everyone right. starts undercutting each other. Yeah. So I think they might hit it, but I think they'll go back up eventually. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think it'll go below 500 for yeah. sure, not below five. You yeah. know, maybe the first few weeks. You know, once once all the online orders come in, you'll probably be able to get some. You know? yeah. But I think it's a good long-term hold. Yeah. Yeah. But, but definitely in LA, there's the big like I was mentioning. There's the big players out in Melrose. 
mostly in Melrose, but there, there's an untapped market here in the San Fernando Valley. So I think Mario did, it, did the smart thing and he went out and kind of tackled the, the blue ocean versus, you know, the red oceans where everybody is just fighting for, you know, for that profit. But right here, right. you know, he found his little niche here. This yeah. is his hometown. This is my hometown. So this is from somewhere where I grew up at. I'm comfortable around here, you know? Yep. I don't have to travel too far. I live 10 minutes away from here. There is some other shops on the, I think on that side of the, on the west side of the valley. Okay, yeah. StockX, remember when StockX came up and yeah. we talked about opening up a shop and you you say you didn't know because you're a little iffy with the StockX. Yeah. Coming I, up as a big player, right? To be honest, I thought these big like apps were going to take over and all the shops were going to get, get put out of business. Right. But, but it looks like what Mar was saying was like, there's enough, I guess, meat on the bone for for everyone so for everyone. there's always a local player that you know can still make make their buck yeah i, I was totally wrong on that <laughs> well i feel like um the difference was that ordering online you know how it is with clothes and everything you order it sometimes and you don't like the way it looks you know when you get it or the way it fits right. so i think that's why that's why i felt like sneaker shops wouldn't go away yeah. I, don't, I didn't feel like the apps would do much to it yeah. they probably sold it down in the beginning because i did hear a lot of shops yeah. complaining in the beginning you know that it slowed it down but I figured, you know, I saw other shops still opening, even even though, even though the apps were still open, the other shops still kept open, popping up everywhere. So I was like, you know, I, mean, I didn't think it really meant too much, you know, because people still like to come into the sneaker shop, hang out, you know, talk sneakers, right, right, you know, right. trade, yep. you know. No, that's cool. So going back to the OG colorway, look, this, this, you know, this flop too, bad. DMP. DMP. Everyone wants a pack. Everyone wants, you know, to have that DMP pack. Yeah. But they gave you one, and people still didn't didn't, didn't want that. Yeah. It's funny, right? It's it's funny. Yeah. When a retro a shoe that everybody wants, it flops, right? It flops. Yeah. The sixes. Sixes. It flopped. Yeah. Well, I think in uh, six months or around Christmas time. With the Nike in the back. They, these are gonna fly for sure. These are gonna fly. Yeah. I have them right now in store. Well, the first ones I paid high. Yeah. So we have them at three thirty-five. Yeah. Then you see I've been dropping because I've been paying lower on these. Yeah. So, yeah. Because there aren't. People are coming in here just going for retail. Yep. So if I'm getting a good deal, I'm going to throw it back out to the public for a good deal. Yep. You know? yep. Prices drop, man. Yeah, prices drop dramatically, but they're still, they still move, not, a, not as fast as a one. Yeah. I think that's what Nike did, though. I think Nike did that on purpose. I think that's, I think they, they found the shoe they could compete with easy. Yeah. And they brought it, I think that's when they started doing all those colorways on the ones. You see that we're getting a colorway like every month. Yeah. We had the silver toe, which also another shoe works. Who knows about these right here? The, the, what are you, the what the, the fours. What the fours, yeah. These sat, I actually got these on sale, 20% off. I was getting these for 160 each, and all of a sudden they just, I kind of knew this is a cool colorway. It has like the, Nike the military, pack. blue fours, you got the, the fire red, and you got the cement gray, like combination. It was a cool. I got some of these Air Maxes. These, actually, I have a bunch of these. These are doing well for me. They're doing well for you? Yeah, people haven't picked this up. I'm surprised. This, is my, this, is, this was my personal pair I threw it in here. 280. Yeah, and that's not a bad price. Yeah, I threw it in here for 280. I, I sold uh, a couple of pairs for like 260, 280. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And, and that, that's my thinking is yeah. the mids, the price point you can still, I mean they're cheap enough where you can buy them for like 125 each. Yeah. And you can resell them for like 200 versus like the mid version almost ex looks exactly like the high version. Right. But the mid version, um, obviously if you sell them brand new you can probably sell them for 200. Right. And you know that price point might be better for for consumers versus something yeah. like this. Brand new would be five hundred bucks. Right for a consumer, yeah. correct? Yeah. For yeah consumer so, standpoint. so that's why we like that's why I like to bring mids in. So, you yeah. know, so everyone can come in here. And you don't have to feel like when you go to hype these kicks, we have to spend you know five hundred dollars in the pair of shoes. You know, come in here. There's, we have a little bit for everybody. And we also have mid, used mint. You know, like yeah. in good 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 condition. Yeah. So yeah, we got a pair of Concord right here, women's size, yeah. six six and a half, two twenty. Nice, Look nice. at that. Clean. We got some of the, the skunk. Uh, yeah, good collection here. That's an off-white. We bought this off from a collector who had doubles and everything. This was all six, except for the off-whites. Those were my personal ones too. It's cool, man. Nice. We got some merch that comes in, Travis Scott stuff. And are these selling well? Not really, it hasn't really moved. Yeah. It's still down. I have a bunch. I have a lot. <laughs> oh, you bought two? Yeah, I yeah. bought a lot, yeah. When he did the McDonald's collab. Yeah, me too. I bought a lot, yeah. Supreme also has been with selling so well. You know, we got big, we got big windows where you have a lot of street view, you know? Got a TV. We got a TV in here for the guys in here. Nice, yeah. nice. How many guys you got working? I got three, I got three guys now. Oh, okay. I got my son, um, 
I got one of his friends and, and my nephew. Yeah, man. I'm pretty sure the next time I come, you're gonna need more space. I think so. You so, know that stuff. So, That's my friend Warren. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, what's up, bro? Is this your son? That's my son. Yeah, it's oh, Mario. Yeah. So, yeah. so this is the baller. This is the. Wait, are you also Mario? Yeah, Mario. Man, look at you. You yeah. got another Mario too? This is Mario Jr., man. The hitties. You had the sweater, right? I had it and I sold it. You sold, sold it? Yeah. yeah. yeah the, the hitties go for like 200 right now. Yeah, I sold it. I sold it for 200. Oh, you sold it for 200? Yeah, they were, they were 110 with tax. What did you do? You traded like for a shoe or something like that? Yeah. You traded a shoe for the hood, for two hood, for a shoe. He traded for a hoodie and two, and, a, and two shoes or something. I don't know what he did. Oh, nice, nice, but, nice. Yeah, he told me a lot about basketball. I was like, yeah. you sure? Actually, I, fo I followed that guy, Dash Athletics. Oh, Dash Athletics? Yeah, yeah. Because I was playing basketball, well, I mean, like kind of ca casually, you know, yeah. playing ball, but he was always talk talking about you uh, in high school. Oh, no, he was in, you were in middle school at the time, I think. Yeah, now he's in high school. Yeah, he's a yeah. senior right now. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, I was so, like, that's, that's cool. He's a senior in high school right now? And um, he'll be graduating, what, in May? Yeah. So, yeah. so after graduation, do you have any plans? High probably school? Go to, probably go to college and Here? Probably, yeah, try to major like in business or something. I don't know yet though. Business? I'm still trying to figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, you have time. Yeah. He said he wanted to do some real estate. So oh, I got the, I got I got the real estate guy right here no, for you. I found that like I realized there's a lot of money behind real estate. Like the owner of this building owns half the block too. And like he was telling me how like a lot of money behind it. And then my dad was telling me about smart it. kid. Something yeah. So, I so I, it's, it's like it's like the sneaker market, right? Yeah. Well, kind of the same thing. I always thought real estate and sneaker market kind of went hand in hand. Right now we're in a bubble. Well, I feel a bubble for sneakers and real estate. That that's a different story. Yeah, because. Right? Right now, all my friends told me when I opened up the store, like, we really opened the store during the pandemic. And I said, I've been I've been during the pandemic and it hasn't slowed down. Yep. Sneakers hasn't slowed down. I haven't stopped buying sneakers. My friends haven't stopped buying sneakers. I see every every drop still selling out. If anything, people so, are paying more money because they're paying stock X because they're scared to go out. Yep, so yep. they're paying more money instead of them. And they're waiting months for stock X instead of them coming here, dropping the money, whatever, and then getting the shoe right away, right then and then. Yep. That also, and, um, I think stimulus money too. Stimulus. Stimulus. We yep. got tax money coming in right now. Hey, that, that stimulus money, tax returns coming up yep. right now. So yeah. I think you, you better you, you better you better update your stock, man. Yeah.